All right, this is Ubiquitron. I'm playing Kerbal Space Program. Today we are going to build the world's largest uh, rocket ship carrier. Uh, as in most of my stuff, this is inspired by a real life thing. Uh, they have started construction on one of the world's largest, like physically largest aircraft. And that's, uh, I, oh, I can't even remember what it's called. It's uh, built by Strato Launch Systems. Uh, it's similar to Virgin Galactic's Spaceship 1 and 2 setup. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to... And basically it's a parasite craft. Uh, we're going to launch a rocket from the upper atmosphere using... That is not what I need. Using uh, a lifter craft. And so, first we're going to start with our actual craft, that the, the launch craft that we're going to use. And so let's do this. Let's put, I want, let's do this. So this is going to be our... Our main craft. I'm gonna put a rocket engine on here real fast. Something, let's just put the poodle. That should move us around fairly quickly. With minimal, minimal uh, effort. Let's put uh, some RCS thrusters roughly in the center of mass and from there we need to um, we need to build out the rest of the spacecraft I want this one there we go now we're gonna build a pretty big rocket ship uh, we're gonna need a lot of Delta V Yeah, let's just stick with that. So, and let's use, not the main sail. I don't think we're going to need the main sail. Let's use the skipper. So this is going to be our launch craft, our rocket ship. It's uh, fairly basic. This part will work fairly well. Uh, what else could we do on this? Since, I mean, since this is going to be as basic as we get, we're just going to leave it at this. <clears throat> and from here, we're going to... Uh, right over the center of mass, we're going to put this decoupler. And this is where the fun begins. So I'm going to get this structure. Oh, I think we need to ensure... No... See, there's something wrong with this decoupler because I can't seem to put stuff on it. But I, I want the hy the hydraulic ones and not the... Oh, that, I think that's going to be even worse. Alright. Let's try that out. So let's put this down. Okay, that seems to be working. I don't know if that's going to cause troubles or not. But let's... Oh, you can't. <laughs> so let's do that. Butt it up against the other one. And there we go. So this is going to be the spine of our giant monster craft. And so the real life equivalent of this is, like I said, it's designed to be a, a parasite craft lifter. Uh, we're going to need a ton of wings. So let's do mirror geometry. And uh, center of lift. Obviously, we're not going to uh, be directly on 
top of the center of mass. But this is a good start. Uh, from here I want to... Now we're not going to... Um, we're not going to try any... We're not going to try to go to space today, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and we're always going to control from here. So as soon as, technically as soon as this launches, we're going to lose it. Uh, so to avoid that, I'm going to put a control module here so I can flip over to it. Let's come back here. I want uh, only rocket fuel, liquid fuel. Tanks, tanks, liquid fuel, fuselage. Oh, that is you want. Oh, gosh. That might be a bit much. Yeah, that's that's a bit much. Let's see. Adapters, liquid fuel oxidizer, liquid fuel oxidizer. So I don't think I have anything small. So let's just stick with, let's see what the Mark III tanks look like. That's still a bit much. So let's go with uh, Mark II. Just since I know I can do liquid fuel. So we'll do this. We'll do uh, aerodynamics. Put this thing on here. And that thing. <clears throat> and then we should also have this thing. Which I really don't know if this is going to matter. I think that's actually going to throw my uh, system off by quite a bit. And then we'll continue to build wings. So the real life equivalent of this is uh, Paul Allen. He, I guess he's the co-founder of Microsoft. He's a philanthropist and evidently really rich. And he's paying to build this giant aircraft to launch stuff into space from uh, extremely low Earth orbit. Uh, the, the design specs say somewhere around uh, 30,000 feet <clears throat> when they released the rocket payload for it to launch. Um, <laughs> that's going to be terrible. Oh, this is something special, that's for sure. Uh, it is not the... It may be the... It's the world's largest aircraft by wingspan. It's even larger than the uh, Antonov AN-225, 20, which is a Russian lifter, and even the Airbus A380. Um, oh, gosh. But it does not have the most lifting power, which, ironically, is still held by those both of those planes. The Antonov and the Airbus still have more lifting power than this than this uh, proposed aircraft. I don't know the name of it. I I looked it up, but I guess I forgot. And so, oh gosh, this one. There we go. <laughs> I forgot how to flip things. So we'll put those there. We're actually doing pretty good at this point. <clears throat> Can move these up though. Because we want those to... This is going to center over the back. Or center over, or put us over the center of mass. Well, these tail boom pieces are really hard to work with. So I guess I didn't need all this like I thought, but we'll we'll see. <clears throat> and we'll do this. We'll put some. Uh, I'm not even on it. There we go. There we go. And so we want this. 
this. And this will just be our control surfaces. And this. And we might as well slap some in here. I don't know why that... Okay, there we go. <laughs> I can't turn these things to save my life. There we go. And for... Well, it's kind of hard to put control surfaces on the rocket because we need the rocket to be as lightweight as possible. So what we could do... Actually, that should be fine. Let's try that out. <clears throat> what I also what I should do well I think it's too late now we might rebuild this later let's put some landing gear on here and then some engines all very important stuff this is probably going to be a bit ridiculous because this whole sp prospect isn't ridiculous enough. <laughs> That's pretty bad. So let's do this. Put them struts on. And hopefully this kind of... Uh, Cleans everything up. Wow, that's pretty terrible looking. There we go. There we go. Let's put these slightly lower. So that way we maintain some lift. And I want more of these on the inside. We should be set after this and well I mean I still need to add engines we're not going to space without engines but the landing gear sorted at this point let's uh, do this real fast let's add some engines there that should be enough fuel so we're just going to add uh, fuselage intakes I think that's going the wrong way with some of these things and finally well we need to dump fuel from here into there I don't think this is gonna be enough engine but we'll we'll give it a shot we'll see what happens so this is going to be our uh, mega lifter uh, save and launch so yeah our <clears throat> so <laughs> our mission parameters are going to be to uh, reach about uh, 15,000 meters. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think we're going to need more engines. So 30,000 feet is 
about 9,100 meters. Our mission parameter is going to be 15,000, where we will drop the rocket and launch. Um, let's see. Uh, my initial planning was for three stages on the rocket, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, if you count the uh, lifting stage, then we have three stages. We are not going fast enough. We're also shifting quite a bit. Come on. <laughs> nope, we're not going fast enough. Oh, we're falling off the runway. So I might need to... Strut the... Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh. This piece is still good. As are most of these. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, that was that. Alright then. Well, we will continue this mission later. I've built the craft. Now we just need to uh, refine it and get it working. We definitely need to add more engines. Uh, we need to stabilize the whole system. But from, from here, we can definitely do this. This is Ubiquitron playing Kerbal Space Program, and we'll see you next time.